During the mid-20th century, many little girls around the world dreamed of their wedding day. But for some of the beautiful girls of Tiger Bay, their husbands would come compliments of the United States military. She kept on saying, when are you coming? When are you coming? <laughs> she just didn't want to go. And eventually went. Oh, his family was wonderful to me. I was lucky. Although we were young, we used to sneak into the pubs in town. <laughs> and that, that, well, that's where they would be. They always in the pubs in town. Gangs of them. Sort of, sort of, take your pick. <laughs> I was at my grandma's house and it was time for me to go home. And so as I went out, he'd come running behind me and he started walking with me and I said, where are you going? And he said, I'm going to take you home. I'm walking you home. I said, no, you can't. He said, yeah, I am. He said, yeah, he said, you shouldn't be out here in the dark like this because it was kind of dark. And I said, it's okay. I said, I'm in Tiger Bay. Nobody going to hurt me down here. During the height of the war, just before U.S. is storming of the beaches of Normandy, nearly 842 black army units could be found throughout the United Kingdom. The girls said, you didn't want us before, now you want us, because a lot of boys used to go outside and have girlfriends, some of the girls married seamen and that. But when the GIs come in, they made a swoop. The black GIs took great personal risks to come to Tiger Bay since it was a no-go area for military personnel. Two shootings, one fatal, were scarcely mentioned in the press due to the War Department's efforts to censor any info about installations among the Allies. Well, this was somewhere by where the annex was, and uh, he was in a truck, yeah. and one was supposed to be there, and the MPs you know, stopped them. Was, there was an incident the there where someone was shot. Oh, so you go for the dancers to dance with the black guys, yeah, so they had someone to dance with. And through them seeing the girls from this area, and they were beautiful, all, all biracial, all multicultural, they freaked out. But there were many relationships from Tiger Bay that resulted in marriage. Oral accounts placed this number around 70 GI brides, spanning both waves. U.S. immigration quotas were waived to allow one million war brides to join their husbands. When we first went over there, that was our first trip as a family. My father was more afraid of their ways and than my mother. My mother would go in any store, front door, no back door. So she was a long, long she was a very outgoing woman. And if anybody started, she, she'd tell them quick, I'm British. Touch me, you'll cause an international incident. <laughs> so when you hold those pictures, do you regret the marriage or? Oh, no, never, never, never.